All right, everybody. So this is episode five or six. I forget, but I went to Greensboro today and got about 400 and some dollars worth of uh, three by two and two by two 11 gauge cold or sorry, hot rolled steel, as well as some uh, 11 gauge bar and two inch and three inch. And one piece of four by two for my mounting brackets. Uh, because I have officially started this flatbed. Now, um, this is going to be a project because I'm using my uh, Chicago Electric Flux 125 welder, which is actually doing a surprisingly good job. Um, a couple things, I'm taking, giving some tools. I'll have my 20 volt freaking uh, DeWalt tools. Those are going awesome. My Harbor Freight uh, electric welding mask is doing fine. I bought a diamond blade four inch metal cutting uh, blade from Lowe's, which just sucked. And I'll go over that in a minute, but it was horrible. Like I, you're, I'm better off using the DeWalt um, abrasive cutting disc. But this is where we are. I've got the original cab mount, which is right here, which I need to finish grinding this off. And I know my welds aren't great, but uh, they will definitely hold, I believe. I'll go probably go back over this one a little bit right here where I've got some holes. But this is the rear mount um i've got that one little bit of a high side apparently i didn't get that cut square so i gotta go back and trim that down the grinder will be about a 16th uh maybe an eighth off but that'll be fine um and i'm gonna do the same thing up front with that uh piece of uh, pressure treat is holding up this three by two channel and the entire bed is going to be 48 inches so the length of that level up there and they'll come out over the wee well, well wells. I've got some bar that I'm going to run stake pockets to make some little tie downs. Um, I am going to recess the cross members, the two by two cross members, and do that cedar bed, do a two by two headache rack. Um, I don't know what else. I've got a lot of steel. This project is going to take a long, long while. It's going to come down in the back, basically nine inches. So from the top here, all the way down to where the bottom of the frame rolls are. We'll have uh, LED tail lights, license plate, etc. And that's where we are. So I'm hoping over the next month or two to turn this $400 pile of steel into a pretty nice flatbed. Uh, I won't pretend to be a fabricator. Sorry, fabricator. I'm actually a cell culturist by training. Uh, <laughs> this is just a project. And um, even though my wells aren't pretty, they do clean up okay, and they are passable once I get a little bit of paint on them, and I think they are structurally sound, at least for what I'm using them for. Uh, I don't recommend following my example on this. Uh, it's just what I'm doing. But if you have any comments or questions, by all means, leave them in the uh, comment section. Also, like and subscribe. Uh, I've got some other videos on stuff that I've done. i got a mouse engine, which isn't a mouse. It's actually an old lot board I found in the barn that I rebuilt. I've got a vintage camper I'm going to rebuilding. I've got a thousand square foot greenhouse that's going out there. I got a lot of stuff going on. I got an aquaponic system going on at the school. Uh, any of this stuff you guys want to see videos about, let me know. It's all going to be happening. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this. So I got a little bit of this done while I still have some daylight. We'll probably get uh, some more done tomorrow. I hoped actually to get these two uh, longitudinals um, done tomorrow and welded on. And then go ahead and... Uh, probably leave it at that for a little bit but uh i'm pretty happy about it thanks for watching and i think i'm gonna have to go with a youtube name um i use the handle northchild76 for a lot of stuff i'll probably go with that and uh see how things go so thanks for watching